What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm actually doing an interesting video. Today I am going to be doing a I follow this person's makeup challenge and the person that I chose is MUA Black Swan. And of course I came across her video because it was trending. We all had seen this video. I'm pretty sure everybody saw this video. It was the story time of her talking about how Cardi B was her worst client ever. So you know, I was like, okay, this looks really interesting, clicked on it, watched the whole video, and then went to her channel to look at her other videos, and I was like, okay, like her skin is popping, like it looks so good, her makeup is flawless. And then I saw this video, it was the No More Cake Face, How to Make Your Makeup Look Like Skin. And I was like, okay, I need to know like how she does her base makeup. So after I saw this video, I was like, yes, I'm definitely following this makeup tutorial. And I might as well film a video while I'm at it. So this is the end result here. My face is like popping. Like it looks so flawless. No cake face. Like this is not cakey at all, you guys. Like my skin feels so good right now and super hydrated. This makeup tutorial is literally one that you guys have to see. There are so many helpful, like, keys to doing your makeup in this video. You guys have to continue watching it. And with that being said, let's just get on to this video. <gasps> okay, I'm ready. Oh, I'm so excited. Hey everyone, it's me again, and you have Black Swan back again with another makeup tutorial. This one is life changing. I'm telling you, when I started implementing these things into my everyday looks and started using them on multiple clients, I mean, these things are full proof. I'm telling you, I'm telling you right now, this is going to change your life. So okay, I'm ready. Today, we're just going to be going over how to do full <laughs> coverage makeup. Like it doesn't feel like you have anything on at all. Like right now, mm -hmm. I have on like four or five layers, but it feels so light. It just honestly, Ooh. it just feels like I have on lashes and lip gloss. Huh. Okay, so what I did was my makeup's completely off. I have my hair tied back. I'm fully exfoliated. And to this natural look, what you really want to pay attention to is your prep. Before you put the makeup on, you want to make sure that you are prepping properly so the makeup goes on smoothly. Okay. okay. You want to protect your skin. Yeah, I know what I forgot something. Okay, prep the skin. Because this is going to be a full beat. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is hydrate my face. Facial spray, Arbidesco. I, like I, like sure I ran out of that, so I'm just gonna use this in. one. I put me. This is a dramatically different moisturizing lotion. Like my face is so fresh right now, and I really like to. Make I hate spraying stuff on my face. Ew, it tastes weird. Okay, so she went straight to moisturizer. But I'm gonna put oil drops on my face. That went straight on my pants. It did not even go on my face. Now I've got an oil stain on my pants. Okay, my prep is like super long and I feel like I put a lot of different moisturizers on. So I put oil. Now I'm putting the Murad um, water gel stuff on my face. Alright, prep the skin. Hydrate. Hydrate, hydrate. Get my eyelids too because my eyelids are so dry. Clinique, a dramatically different this is moisturizer. A dramatically lotion. different moisturizing lotion. Like my face is so fresh right now, and right. I really like to make sure this is like in oh, my skin, weird. like completely saturated into my skin before I even start on my foundation. The primer that I have is Hello Fab Coconut Skin Smoothie Priming Moisturizer. So I'm gonna get my NYX Nifty Angelville, and then put that on. You can see now my skin is completely prepped. And then another really key component to this is that you're going to take your beauty blender and you're not just going to damp it. You're going to completely submerge it into water. My foundation is the bomb.com. Actually, it's a new one that I'm trying. Huda Beauty or Huda Beauty, whatever you want to call it. Their Fox Filter Foundation is 
the bomb. Usually I do my eyebrows first and then I do my face, so it's gonna be kinda weird. But um I wanna follow this exactly how it is, so I'm just gonna I'm gonna do exactly what she does. You can kinda see what I'm talking about. How it's in my skin and it's not sitting above. I'm going to take my press power from Sephora, which matches my foundation. Okay, so the next one part, high lighting, okay? I'm going to use my trusty, but never dusty, Anastasia Beverly Hills foundation. Looks like she put like a lot of concealer, her foundation or whatever she used. I already highlighted my T-zones using the pointy end of the beauty blender. We're done blending all that out. We're gonna go back with our our Mario Bush, Bush what is it? Mario Bush Bush Coon. And we're gonna spray. I got my Anastasia Beverly Hills. Dip brow and ebony. Ooh, ebony. We're gonna go a little dark today. We're gonna go on the dark side today. I should have tweezed my eyebrows. Child. I do not usually do my eyebrows in this process, but I like it. Like, they look extra clean. Okay. One eyebrow is bigger than the other, but it's okay because nobody's gonna notice. <sighs> There's some things that only you can see with your makeup and nobody else can. This is one of them. Now we're going to set our face. And I have a lot of wrinkles under my eyes, so before I put my powder on, I gotta make sure that my foundation has increased up. Okay, she is putting a lot on, so I'm gonna put a lot on today. And then because I don't want the ashiness, the places that I know will get ashy looking, I'm gonna go ahead and dust that off. So above my lip and on the sides, I don't really need that to set too, too long. And I'm gonna go with the same setting powder that I used earlier. I'm going to go back in and I'm going to start um, contouring my face. You see how it's like real natural and subtle. You can see it, and then I'm going to actually take a deeper shade and I'm going to put that just right underneath like the base of my contour line, and I'm just going to sweep that up and like blend all of that out. With a clean, fluffy brush, I'm gonna do the circle of motions to diffuse that line a little bit. Okay, in my Geneva's Place palette, this is the Masquerade palette, I'm gonna take Casablanca really Morphe 35T palette. Right here, and this is the shade in this color. Casablanca. Wait, we didn't even set our eyes. Hold up, hold up, girl. Slow down. Now, we did not set our forehead either, so we'll undo that. I wonder why she did not set her forehead, but I'm setting my forehead. Okay, forehead set. I'm 
I'm going to contour my nose and of course, like I was saying, we're gonna use the pressed powder that I've been using on my face. And with a really light hand, I'm just gonna start carving out my nose and I'm bringing it all the way up to my eyebrow. I'm gonna go Take ahead it all and the way dust to the eyebrow, off the rest of this powder. That's that's good enough, Robin. You you're set, okay, girl. Calm down. You're set for life. And of course, I'm going to cut my nose. I want it to be nice and round and cute. And then, of course, I've got to, I gotta blend that out. See how cute that makes my nose? <laughs> my nose is definitely. It makes yourself have like a really cute button nose. I feel so fancy with all this makeup. I'm my eyelashes on. I'm ready for my eyelashes. So I like took a nap with these lashes on yesterday and kind of crimped the corners, at least on this one. So it's like super curled. So now I have to blend my bottom eyelashes with it. Or is they gonna look like I got a lash on top of an eyelash? which is essentially like what it is, but okay, we don't want dry, people to know that. I'm gonna like really set it into place because I can feel it is like really wet. I'm gonna do my other eyelash off camera. So like for time's sake, but yeah. And I got both my lashes on. I'm just gonna do the finishing touches on my face. And these are crucial. You have to do these if you want to give the people the way and bam, in your makeup. Ooh. Hello eyelashes. These eyelashes are amazing. You guys, you have to get them. They are 113 Ardell Wispies. They are super natural looking. Everybody will think you spend like $300, $400 on those eyelash extensions, but really these are like four bucks. And if you get them close enough to your lash line, then they look super natural. This transition color, your pressed powder. I'm telling you, she's gonna be your day one. You're gonna use it for everything. You're gonna use it for everything. I'm just saying. And I'm actually going to put her underneath my eyes. Now, if you got really bad eye, really really big bags under your eyes, you can bring this color down a little more, which I'm gonna do so y'all can see what I'm talking about. But you see already how it's giving the illusion that uh, my bags are a little more smoother. And then also two stones, um, killing two birds with one stone, you're also helping smooth out any creases that are under your eye. And then if you wanna take it a notch further, you can go ahead and take like a deeper shade. Like, okay, for instance, I can take, I'm gonna take this dark weird funny word color and then I'm going to put it right on the outer corner that's it I'm not gonna take it nowhere else and you see subtlety subtlety okay if you want a brighter eye like an open eye um then you can do like white underneath on the liner. But I always do white underneath, so I'm just gonna do a dark color this time just to switch it up on y'all gals. I'm gonna switch it up. So I'm gonna take some Jill eyeliner from NY Ox. NY Ox got like the bomb gel liners. And I'm going to take it flat brush and I'm just gonna like swipe it. I'm using this thingy from MAC. <laughs> and now we're gonna move on to the lips. So this is Downtown Beauty and this is the NYX Suede Matte Lip Liner. Okay so now I'm gonna take my lip gloss. I don't like my lip gloss is getting dirty. You know, I'm like that like, oh, I got lipstick inside of my lip gloss look, so I always put it on my finger. Cause I just hate that. Don't you hate it? Don't you like it when it like stays pretty like this? Okay, tapping in the middle is the key because that's where the light is hitting your lip gloss. 
the glow kit. You know we gotta, you know we gotta get the glow kit. I'm gonna take this one and then I'm gonna take Moonstone. I, I can pronounce Moonstone. Bing. Put it here. Okay, you see, I'm not taking to the side. I'm putting it like more towards the front. And then, I'm, of course, I gotta bump that thing out. Cause that's like potent, okay? Then, of course, you need to spray again. Okay, and while this dries, I'm gonna go off camera and do my hair. Okay, so this is the final look. I have fun doing this. I hope y'all enjoyed watching it. Please subscribe and like to this channel. Hit the notification button so I can see more of you and you can see more of me. So until next time, I'll see you later. All right, you guys, that is the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. This was really fun to do. Like so surprising this is the first video where i'm like okay let me do like something that's kind of trendy like challenge based and this was actually really fun like i was actually excited to make this so oh shit i forgot to spray my face again <laughs> i'm like i know i forgot to do one thing i forgot to spray my face one last time oh that feels so refreshing shout out tart rainforest little C. That feels real good on my face. Okay, my skin is like looking so bomb right now. This foundation, like... What's this video say? No more cake face. My makeup look like skin. I would definitely agree 100%. My nose is super cute. I never contour my nose like this. It looks so cute. So shout out to homegirl MUA Black Swan, super talented. I love the content. On the real note though, if you guys enjoyed this video, then go ahead and click that subscribe button so you guys can see whenever I put out a new video and whatnot. But be sure to like, share this video, and leave some comments down below. And with that being said, I will see you all in my next video.